guys welcome back to miss t's doll room and today i've been in here cleaning and sorting and putting up stuff so i came across some of the items that i use for storage to store my diorama items tyco kitchen littles remit and things like that so i'd like to show you what i use in my doll room so let's get started okay guys so i'm going to show you some of the things that i use for storing some of my diorama and remit items for my collection and various storage um, tools that I use in my doll room. So we're going to start with the small parts cases that I got from Home Depot. The one, this one here is a Stanley and it is 16 and a half inches wide, 13 and a half inches long, and four and three sixteenths of an inch deep so I chose this one because it has really deep pockets and so some of the things that are very odd sized or, or too large for the little bead containers fit perfectly in this case I got these from Home Depot and if you can see by my phone it's a 10 compartment deep pro small parts organizer it has 10 sections and they retail for $16.97 each and then we have these. They are from Home Depot as well and they're by HDX. Interlocking organizer, customizable compartments, removable dividers, interlocking slide keeps organized together so you can actually stack these and uh, clip them together so when you pick them up they'll both, you know, you can handle them both at the same time. And I'll show you how that works. And I think I paid like, I want to say let's see $9.88 for the set of those so these are some pretty good storage options that you can get from Home Depot or and I'm sure Lowe's and Walmart's have them as well okay I wanted to show you how deep this is and so you guys can see that the compartments are very nice and deep so they're ideal for storing some of your larger more awkward items and this particular one goes in the middle here I have a little assortment of trinket trays that I use for large platters or wall decor for my dioramas. I have a Lori set, one of those little Lori small dolls. I like her lemonade set with the two glasses of lemonade, the pitcher, and the tray. And it's still in the plastic packaging it came in. So I removed that from the original package. And then I have some Barbie vases and decor that I kept all these years so that I could paint them more realistic colors to use in my dioramas. It's a blue vase, a pink little bowl and stand and we have a yellow picture, like water picture, drink picture and then I think these are some Cindy goblets. They're yellow with age, but I have them all in this little Ziploc bag until I decide, you know, to do some deeper organizing and I'll put them somewhere all together. But this is what I store down in here and everything fits nice and neatly in there. And then in this section, which fits here, I have this little um, container, OMG container that I had some silver platter and stand in there. I put it in here to protect it. Then I have these Barbie Jonathan Adler mirrors and some dollhouse mirrors that I've collected over the years but I haven't used yet. And here's a little faucet set. Another little magnet painting. These are the kinds of things that I keep around for my little dioramas I've collected over the years. And even the little bulkier items, they fit down in there with ease. I have a silkstone hat box and some other little trinkets in a Ziploc bag. And I put them all in there so they won't be loose. Some of this is miscellaneous stuff that belongs with other things. And I just haven't gotten to the point where I can just put everything together. But it is a nice little catch-all for all of my junk. So, let's see here. This one goes here. And this is where I keep some of my paintings. These are some dollhouse frames. And I have a little cutout picture of Robert Best and Maria Teresa that I put in here. And these were magnets. And I uh, 
exchange the pictures out for things I see in magazines and catalogs. This is my Mona Lisa. It came with magnets on the back of them. They were bought at a museum long, long, long ago. I have other little artwork. little picture that came from the My Generation holiday set. Other little frames. Scrapbooking frames and different things like that. And little magnets so this is where I keep some of my artwork to go on my walls magazines we have little booklets I thought the dressmaker detail booklets were really nice the artwork in them is really nice and someday they could make posters for a dressmaker shop or something like that so I keep these you never know when these little things are going to come in handy and let's see, I think I had a book in here. I have my little collection of books. I started collecting all these books, A Mental for Life, and a couple of other different uh, bookmakers on Instagram and Facebook. Nice little cookbooks and such. So I try to keep all my little books and artwork together. So we'll put that in here. This in here. Some more little Hobby Lobby frames for my kitchen dioramas. More frames. You know, as I'm playing with the stuff, I'm just taking it out and it, it ends up anywhere. Um, I am not organized by any means, but maybe I could take this opportunity to put a couple of things together. This is more artwork and mirrors. And this is a briefcase with some had some artwork in there but just little things I keep I, at least I might not know exactly which compartment in it but I know that it's in this case and more of my book collection I love my little books for my dolls I use them in my diorama scenes and then I have this little case and it's full of books as well books and magazines and albums So I keep them all together. As long as I know they're in that particular one, then I don't have to worry about looking for them anywhere else. And then, let's see here. What else do we have? I have some things left over from play sets. This is a Barbie ornament with the shoe boxes in it that I use in my dioramas. Some more books. And like I said, when I'm raffling through this stuff to try to find something, you know, I'll stick stuff in the wrong compartments from time to time. So, y'all have to forgive me. So, we have a bunch of little briefcases and new newspapers and things like that. So, I'll keep that in here. And this container is here. We've got some sushi and some chocolate covered strawberries. I think these chocolate covered strawberries came from Chef Gina's uh, many moons ago, like maybe 10, 15 years ago. And they are still holding up. Look how cute they are. So that needs to go with the food, but until, like I say, I do some deeper organizing, it will just stay there because at least I know where it is. And so here, Again, we have more stuff. The, this is a faucet and a bathroom toiletry set that I bought off of AliExpress. And I'm going to use the faucet in a diorama that's upcoming. So I wanted to put it there. It was in a padded envelope and I was getting ready to throw it away. I said, let me take that out of there and put it in that case. And these are all my little remit office supplies from long ago uh, com laptop computers in here the file folders different things like that put on your desk you excuse my ashy hands because I've been spray painting and I get it on my hands and it's kind of caustic for me because it makes my skin peel so I probably shouldn't be doing it that way. Well stacks of books and things like that that I can use in my diorama. I kept these so that I could repaint them to make them look more realistic. 
So these are the kinds of things that I got tired of having them in little doll boxes. I, so I downsized and put everything in these containers so that they will be more accessible and everything is in the same place. So we have a little clocks here. A couple of clocks. Then I have some ice cubes from the Fashion Royalty Convention. These things used to light up. I love them. I was going to make lamps out of them. I'm sure I can change the battery. But um, Elaine gave these to us at a convention many moons ago. I want to say it was the first, or second, first and second convention. I just love these things. And I have kept them over the years. I had more. I got to find out where the rest of them at. But that's the beauty of this. When I find them, I'll throw them in here. So they'll all be together. I have some seashells. Sometimes I use these shells as wall art or ashtray for my doll. If I happen to find a cigarette or pack of cigarettes. And here's a retro record player and records that came from one of the Barbie retro play sets. So I'll put that in there. And then this one. We have a spider plant that I attempted to make from... Froggy's uh, video. And we have a mirror, flat screen TV, some plants, vases, uh, retro looking radio, some more TVs, a little tea kettle, a little brass tea kettle, box of tissues that I use. My diorama, some lemonade baseball bats that my friend Mel gave me, some camera equipment, let's see, these little briar dogs, I thought they were cute, they were little blind bag dogs and I bought them, I'll probably never use them but I just wanted them because they were cute, a little magnet, angel with wings magnet, so all kinds of things you can use for your your wall decor for your dioramas. I collect tend to collect a lot of that stuff. Just never know when you're gonna need something like that. Let's put this in here since it's big enough. Still in plastic. And this is the last case here. Um, this is a nice little floral arrangement that I've had for quite some years. And I don't remember where I got this thing from. Or where I bought it from. But I like it. It has a nice little presence when I put it on top of my sideboard or dining room table or something like that. Okay, next we have these HDX cases and these are the two little sliding components that you use on the side that will connect the cases together. Let's do it this way. because it's so full. I mean, I have these things crammed full. So, let me see what we can find here. I think that's what it was. It's so full. All right, so this is where I keep my grocery that's not in the pantry. So, years and years of collecting Kitchen Littles, Tyco Kitchen Littles, then Kitchen Littles when Mattel bought them. All kinds of places. Zuru Surprise. Um, I think I have Gloria wine bottles, liquor bottles in here. All kinds of stuff. So And fruits and vegetables. A lot of remit over the years. So my friend Mel came to visit one time and she was helping me organize. And she said, T, do you need all of this Wonder Bread? And I said, yes, I need all of my Wonder Bread. 
And she was like, why? Why do you have multiples? I'm like, why not? Maybe one day I'll go through it and I might sell off some of this stuff. But who knows? With my experience in dog collecting, you think stuff doesn't matter and you want to get rid of stuff, you need to be really sure because once you sell it and you get that seller's remorse, you have to pay double and triple of what you probably sold it for in the first place just to get it back. So that's why I tend to hang, hang on to everything. So we have some potatoes here, slice of buttered bread. We have some remit sandwiches here that I need to find out where their little companions are. I think this was some Barbie, Arco Barbie playset stuff, like some country style dinner rolls. And I think it's um, yams or cookies or something. I'm not sure what this is, but I kept it all these years, so we'll leave it there. We've got all kinds of butter and dairy and ice cream. And a lot of this stuff is Zuru surprise miniatures. And I think this came from a. I want to say a kitchen little set or one of those Barbie play sets. Some kitchen littles, sunny side up eggs, more ice cream. This is a remit jug of milk from I think that Happy American Life gift set or something like that, a remit set. Baby Bell cheese. I'm pretty sure that's all Zuru. Lots of butter. Butter packages, American Singles cheese. So she was grouping the dairy with the dairy. Some chocolate almond breeze. I think that was Zuru Surprise. More jugs of milk. I know that's Remit. Some eggs here. I'll never get it back in here like she had it. So I'll be struggling with closing this. And then we have some watermelon slices. Have some olives here that I bought from a sculptor. On Etsy, who do who does dog food? There's my olives. We've got some green onions, wet ones, laundry detergent. I think that was. I can't think of the name of that set. Oh boy. And more watermelon here. Zuru surprise. Ragu pizza sauce, all kinds of condiments, mayo and salad dressing, a lot of that stuff. So everything that I didn't use in my little pantry video is pretty much in this case. Remit fruits and vegetables for the most part. Like this is a Barbie playset, the basket of apples, but just about everything else in there are rem remit fruits and vegetables there. And let's see here. Same thing here onions bag of onions and crudite tray corn acorn squash potatoes asian melons a jar with pasta from some gift set barbie gift set and here's my lemon my lemon slices that i ordered because i'm going to make some lemonade i will get around to making some little drinks and glasses little projects i've been wanting to do and like I say, these tiny little coca pot bottles and things. Just stuff everywhere. Hamburger slices. I think that's Tyco. Hamburger slices and drinks. Fruit, pineapple, bananas. My fig set with the cutting board that I got from Etsy. Godiva chocolates from Remit. And other Barbie play sets and things. Some macaroons, candy sets, and there you go, your pizza boxes and frozen dinners and things. Then we have our Remit wine collection. These bottles, a lot of them I've had for a long time. We've got some Johnny Walker, Jack Daniels whiskey bottles. And canned goods and boxes of cereals and such. And we have some beauty products from Zuru Surprise. Many brands. So that's what I keep in this particular case here. And I'm just spreading this stuff around because I know it's going to be 
a hard time trying to get that case to come down. It's already a little stuck on there. There we go. And that's why it's, it's so full, it won't come down. So that's why this won't slide as easily as it needs to. Because I have to pack this thing the way it needs to be packed so I can close it with ease. Let's see if that works any better. Okay, now it'll slide that way. Now it'll slide that way. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get it to work this time. So it slides over here. Alright. And slid down over there so you can see the edges of it. How they snap together and you pick them both up at the same time. Okay. Okay. And so in the next case, we have remit. We have all kinds of drinks. We have a lot of remit. Uh, dish draining unit. Towels. Dish towels. We have some of my Tupperware, mini Tupperware collection that I have. A lot of my Tyco Kitchen Littles and Remit and Barbie Special Collections utensils are in that. Let me show you that. Here we go. Let me see. And oh, this one opened. I had my little Kitchen Littles cutlery in there. These are like little Tupperware bread boxes. And here's another Tupperware piece. These were keychains. So we put, Mel put a lot of my little spatulas and brushes and cooking utensils in there. So I can keep those together. They spilled out. Some of the bigger ones would not go in. So they couldn't go in there. Cake slicer, server. So I have four of these things. I'll just go ahead and scoop all that out. Well, five of them, it seems. So three of them will fit in there next to each other. And we'll put the smaller stuff. See if we can get those tongs in there. There we go. Pie dough roller here. A couple of other remit utensils in there. And these are all Tyco Kitchen Littles. Spatulas, ice cream scoop and such. And a remit ladle. Let's see here. I think this is Cindy Cutlery. And some more Play-Doh. Not Play-Doh. Tupperware. Excuse me. Tupperware. I've got some chips and stuff in there. I have some chip cans around here somewhere, but I don't know where they are. And here's some more dish towels and things to use in the kitchen that I've collected from various sets over the years. There's another Tupperware keychain. Let me see if I can get that off of there. There we go. Oh, has some more remit pieces in there. Okay. More Tupperware. It's a canister. I like these because they're very realistic. Look at They're just miniature versions of the real thing. I think I bought them off of eBay years ago when it was all a rage. This was a little appetizer pot that they had at one of the fashion royalty conventions. Um, we had concierge service and we stayed on the concierge floor so they would put out hors d'oeuvres for us and we would go up there. So one night I think they had ceviche in these little frying pans. So we all had ceviche and we kept the frying pan. And that's where I got that from. 
Barbie tea sets, Rement mug set. I wanted those to stay all together. This is like a little carafe of wine or something that goes with one of the little Rement sets. And this is RuPaul's famous breath mint dinner. This is the platter and the silver case. And this is what belongs in that um, OMG thing that I had. So I need to put that up. So I'll leave that out. Cake plates. Ice bucket from a Gloria set. Lots of remit, y'all. Lots of remit from over the years. A little decorative dollhouse platters. Cutesy things like the cake plates and stuff. I think I saw Norray's um, dollhouse. She had those fabulous little silver cake plates with the little crystals hanging from it. I thought that was so pretty. And I said, ooh, I need to get some of those. And I said, what for? I already have some. I'll forego that. We have Gloria plates. And we keep these so we can customize them one day. Some of these are Remit as well. There's some decorative pieces from Remit. And let's see. Uh, Tyco Kitchen Littles. This is the tea kettle in the frying pans. And another little set that I have cutlery in. Let's see. Roasting pan. And these are some very old drinks. Now, these drinks I want to show you. These drinks have got to be about 10, 15 years old. And I'm going to tell you where I got them from. Back in the day, the only person making doll food was Chef Gina's. Now, this is a piece from a fashion royalty doll. But I want to show you these drinks that she made all those years ago. Hot cocoa with whipped cream. Some type of punch or wine in there. She was doing this when nobody else was doing this. So I want to give Chef Gina's a shout out. I used to buy up a lot of her food. It was like an orange drink with ice in it. champagne and some of it has turned colors but still and all they still look good and they were worth the money so I still have those things I tend to keep all my stuff and more Gloria barware these are the tiki glasses from uh, fashion royalty one year when they had a tiki party thing Got the glass from that. So, a lot of good memories in here. All the stuff that's been taken out of the pack from Remit, I have used it in some form or fashion in a diorama pick, which is why it is not still in the pack. I don't separate or debox or unpack my Remit collection unless I'm actually going to use it in a scene. Otherwise, all the remit I have is still in the box and in the little um, packages. And maybe one day I can get around to doing a video on my remit collection that I have not the box. And I can show it to you. I have no interest in the box and all that stuff. I know a lot of people do, but I figured if I'm not using it, I'll just keep it all together. That way I know what collection it belongs to because most of this stuff there's no way in the world I would have to look this up and it's not that hard because they have remit groups on Facebook who are wonderful resources if you need to know where something goes or what set it came with in case you're trying to track down a piece of it those people in the remit groups are just geniuses they know where all this stuff comes from somebody in that group is going to be able to tell you where to get it okay guys so this concludes my video on the storage, small part storage options. Um, I have the links in the description box below where you can find these cases. And don't forget to check out my 3D miniatures and the dolls that I have for sale from my own collection at heygirl.com. And don't forget I have new t-shirt designs up on spring.com. All of these links are in the description box below. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line. I'm always happy to share whatever information I have with you. 
and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you back in part two which will be the next video so you can see some of my other storage options that I use for my doll room and my collection. Bye!